Hello everyone. Welcome to Augment Tech. We coach engineering students and working professionals for better career opportunities. Heat. Heat is a form of energy that flows between two bodies due to the difference between their temperature. Let's say there are two bodies A and B at different temperatures. Due to the difference in their temperature, heat flows from a body at higher temperature to a body at lower temperature. It is important to note that heat is only that part of energy which flows due to the difference in temperature and not the energy contained inside the body. As the heat keeps on flowing, the temperature of the body which releases heat is decreased and the temperature of body that receives heat is increased. There will come a time when temperature of both bodies becomes same, let's say 70 degree Fahrenheit in this case. Once this situation is achieved, no heat flows between the two bodies. So no heat flow once the temperature of both bodies become same. And we say that thermal equilibrium is achieved. Thermal equilibrium means same temperature for both the bodies. Units of heat. Heat can be measured in joules, which is the SI unit. It can also be measured in calories. British thermal unit. One British thermal unit is equals to 1055 joules. This will help you in converting between SI system and imperial system. For the study of HVAC systems, heat can be classified into two categories. The first one is called sensible heat. Sensible heat is that heat which leads to the increase in temperature. On heating moist air, the temperature of dry air part contained in this moist air increases. So the heat involved in this process is called sensible heat and the process is known as sensible heating. The other type of heat is known as latent heat. In this type of heating, the phase of a substance changes but the temperature remains constant. Let's say on heating ice at 0 degree centigrade, the phase changes. Ice gets converted to water but its temperature remains the same. For air, on heating it, the amount of water vapor or moisture contained in it increases. So the heat responsible for this is known as latent heat and the process is known as latent heating. To understand about these two types of heat, let's draw a curve between heating and temperature. We take a sample of ice at minus 10 degree centigrade. On supplying heat continuously, its temperature increases from minus 10 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade. In this case, the phase of ice remains the same. It remains solid throughout the heating process. Here, the temperature is increasing and the phase remains constant. So this type of heat is known as sensible heat. Once ice reaches 0 degree centigrade, on further heating it, its temperature does not change. However, its phase changes. Ice gets converted to water. In this process, the phase remains constant. Therefore, the heat is known as latent heat. Once ice is completely melted into water, on supplying continuous heat, its temperature increases again and phase remains constant up to a value of 100 degree centigrade. So this process is known as sensible heating because the temperature changes. On heating water at 100 degree centigrade, its temperature does not change. Instead, it starts getting converted to steam at 100 degree centigrade. Now the phase of water, which is liquid, is getting changed to vapor. So this is known as latent heat. On heating it further, the steam temperature increases. So this is again known as sensible heat. During the entire heating process, wherever the temperature changes, the process is known as sensible heating and wherever the phase changes, the process is known as latent heating.